Hey guys, Miles from Nexus Core here, and um, I'm bringing this to you because we just got Lost World. Uh, Lost Dimension came out, the special series, Volume 1, which means there's probably going to be more. For those of you who don't know, um, Buddy Fight basically has an extra deck now uh, in the form of a Lost deck. What it is is that it's it's like a special deck that you bring out using um, a spell that gives you the Lost World flag. And uh, there's this like special set to kind of like get you started. So what it contains is, um, I'm really mad. I actually got this and they kind of messed up the box, but not a big deal. So it comes with the, the Lost Dimension set comes with a um, like main deck, sort of like a trial deck and a Lost deck. So it's like, we all have access to this. Um, Lost World, you can use as like a side deck for literally any deck. Like the deck in this, they're called Dimension Dragons. Oh, look at that, it says Lost World. It's like three sets, uh, although it's only two decks actually, it's just organized. That, that's such a weird organization. Okay, by the way, we hit 10, I almost said million, 10,000 subscribers, thank you all. Man, this is, this is tough. Fuck it. Okay, so the cool part is that the Lost deck, uh, unlike Vanguard, another reason why Bush Road uh, Buddy Fight is better, the Lost World deck, actually they had do like a special backing, you know, unlike the English G units. Um, Cause Buddy Fight is good to us and it's not a bad disappointing game. So this is the main deck. There's the buddy. All right, so the big part are the new Dimension Dragons. The deck, it, it it comes as Dragon World. Okay, this function's actually bothering me. Lost World is basically the spell. You main deck the flag. You cannot choose Lost World as your initial flag. All flags may have up to two of this card in the deck. This card, uh, normal backing, is actually a main deck card. You could consider it like it acts as like a spell or um, uh, Dragon Dry. And in any deck you run, you can only run a maximum of two, just so, um, cause Lost World, you're gonna figure out it's a little broken, but every deck has access to it. That's why decks that can like draw more or like deck thin a lot more are uh, a lot better. You may use Lost World cards. This card gets the abilities of the flag chosen by the Lost. What that means is that like, Whenever, you know, you play this on top of a of a uh, flag you already have. If I have like the chaos and I play this card on top of the chaos flag, I retain all of those like, you know, all of, like the size limit, like your size total is, your size limit is 90, you know, 99, yada, yada, yada. Activate this, remove all of your deck and then bring in your lost deck. And then you like, you play through that. You retain like all cards that are already on the field from your main deck and you retain your hand and gauge that's from the main deck, I believe. So you don't shuffle anything else. But um, enough of Lost World for just a little bit. We're gonna go into the actual Dragon World deck. They're all Dragon World cards that are, again, like made to accelerate uh, finding, like to expedite the process of finding Lost World. They have a lot of like searching and drawing. So let's go right into it. So if this is size three, um, Dimension Dragon, <sighs> Le Margia. It is a size three, seven, seven, two, and its call cost is pay one gauge and add the top two cards of your deck into its soul. Uh, its ability is pick a monster on your opponent's field and you may drop a soul from this card and destroy the chosen card. Then if your flag is Lost World, this card gets triple attack. So not only do, like some of the cards will help you, you know, like find Lost World, other ones actually work better in Lost World like this. Like this is just a basic vanilla, with a destruction effect, I guess, until you have Lost World in the field. And that comes with four copies. Then the size twos, we got four Dimension Dragon Apostra. I'm trying to, sorry, I don't, I don't really know where the camera is right now. Um, when this card is destroyed, choose and use one of the following two. Put the top two cards of your deck into your gauge, or you gain two life. So if you destroy this card, you basically get to get the gauge to activate Lost World, uh, or just try and like prolong your, uh, you know, prolong the game to hopefully draw into Lost World. So it doesn't directly like help you search for Lost World, but it does help extend the game state. And it's just a basic five, six, two. Aplistos and Apostro. I just think the names are funny. Um, another size two, five, three, two, or five, two, three. I forgot how people do it, but it's just pay one gauge. And when this card enters the field, check the top three cards of your deck, put up to one Dimension Dragon Monster or Lost World, specifically the flag, um, from among them into your hand and drop the rest. Uh, that literally means like drop them onto the floor. No, um, send them to drop zone. Uh, so this is like one of the first cards we've seen that actually, there are only three copies of it, of course. Um, can't be, you know, can't have, they can't have everything you need. Um, 
So this just helps you search out Lost World, and that's really all it does. Um, or search out other cards that help you search for Lost World. Uh, this guy looks awesome. <laughs> Dimension Dragon Padia. Um, I thought he said, do you have the laundry? And I'm like, no, actually, I don't. Uh, 322, um, when this card is destroyed, put up to one Dimension Dragon item from your deck into your hand and shuffle your deck. There's like one item that you run, uh, so I guess that is, is cool. Uh, I don't know if it's that good. Uh, I don't know what the item does thing, so I don't know how like urgent you want it. Um, sorry, I keep having to center it. The, my camera's been really weird. It's still happening, but I'm gonna try and like get over this. Uh, next card is four Dimension Dragon Crem Cremata. All right, three, two, one. Uh, when this card enters the field, if you have another Dimension Dragon on our field, draw a card. I okay, that's pretty solid. You know, just a simple draw. We've had plenty of cards like that. Um, there's the deck. Uh, oh god, this camera is so weird. I don't know what's happening. I gotta get this checked out. Um, <laughs> Dimension Dragon Olexi. Uh, o o Olex. Yeah, okay. Three, one, one. At the start of each player's attack phase, put the top card of your deck into your gauge, and you gain one life. That's not bad. Uh, I kind of like that. Um, I'm pretty sure that in the next set we're getting more Dimension Dragon support because it's going to be like Ranma's main deck. So obviously, but um, for now. I guess, like, you know, this is what you have to work with. But, uh, resources, right? Also, life. That's that's cool to prolong the game. Um, and then, uh, Dimension Dragon Ashkimos. Uh, Ashkimos. Uh, 2 two one two. Uh, when this card enters the field, you gain one life for each Dimension Dragon monster in the field. Okay, yeah, so it's really just about, like, continuously gaining life to stall out. Um, there are not as many... Lost World Searchers, as I was expecting, actually. Uh, I think the anime uses cards, because there were some that were, like, on attack search, and I haven't seen those yet. And the rest are spells, so... I guess we're gonna get more in, um... Esp, uh, Espiatio 2. <clears throat> so that's the... Those are the monsters. On to spells. <laughs> Lost of D. Yeah, man, I really hate it when that happens. Um, this card's pretty good, though. Put a Dimension Dragon monster or Lost World from your drop zone into your hand. So, in case you, like, drop both of your Lost World cards, you're like, oh, okay, I'll just cast and add it back. And then that's, like, your immediate access to the card. Um, so pretty solid spell. I would try and get more, maybe. Uh, Dragon... Wait. Okay, I'll go with it. Dragon to charge plus. Put the top two cards of your deck into your gauge. Then, if your life is five or less, put the top three cards of your deck into your gauge. That's, that's cool. Gives you gauge. Neato. The next card. <laughs> no way. <laughs> they re- <laughs> They reprinted Demon Lords Roaring Dragon. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, this card was such a hard to find double rare. <sighs> Oh my god, this card's great. Um, I actually have like two of the, the double rare copy. <laughs> it's uh, it's a um, pay two gauge, just throw a monster in opponent's field and draw for each card destroyed. Really solid card. I can see why it's so practical in this deck. Uh, run this card for sure. That's great. Oh man, I can't believe they reprinted it. That's awesome. Um, two D Death Struggle. <laughs> god, I'm fucking twelve. Uh. Destroy a Dimension Dragon monster in your field. Oh, that combos with that one, um, the owl-looking guy. Uh, Batman Court of Owls. Um, yeah, when this is destroyed, add a Dimension Dragon to item. item. So, um, this combos in with that. Uh, destroy a Dimension Dragon monster in your field. Rest a card in your opponent's field. So, the idea of that is to, like, you know, stall. Um, so, the, yeah, the deck is just stalling and, like, expediting the process towards getting, um, the Lost World flag. So... That's cool. Uh, we got four blue dragon shield to give you more gauge and for your nullifiers. And this wouldn't be dragon world without eight plus shields. So we also got four green dragon shield. Um, you guys know what those do. It's just open center, nullify the attack, gain a gauge, gain a life. Standard. We've gotten them in like set one and two. Um, oh, cool. They reprinted dragon trap also. Uh, this is another kind of like stall out card. Um, pay one gauge and pay two life, uh, which is kind of, you know, really useful considering like this deck is pretty good considering like all the gauge and um, life gain it has. So this card's cost is like very minimal. Uh, choose a card on your opponent's field. And for this turn, the chosen card cannot attack. Yes, please. That's pretty great, especially for um, G Evo. So maybe run more of that card. Uh, here's the item. 
This is cool. Um, Dimension Spirit Gun Krachia. 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 5-1. Pay one life to equip. Act during your attack phase. Uh, choose a Dimension Dragon monster on your field, and you may rest this card if you do stand the chosen card and draw a card. Okay, I like that. And, um... I'm pretty sure that we're getting, like, okay, I'm pretty sure that Ron in the anime used a card that's, like, on attack, check top three for Dimension Dragon or Lost World or something. Um, I don't know if that's going to be once per turn, but if not, you can combo it with that card to get, like, you know, two searches instead of a, so you're looking through six cards out of a 50 card deck. So, uh, that combo will easily, you know, will should easily find you Lost World. Um, so that's the main deck. Uh, it's just like searching, stalling, resource gain. Um, now for the Lost World. So a little bit about Lost World. Um, all the monsters do not have sizes. Um, spells also exist. There are items, I believe. There are impacts. Uh, it's literally just a regular buddy fight deck of another world, but they don't have sizes and their stats are bullshit. <laughs> Oh, God, what just happened there? That was awful. Um, 30,000, 3 crit, and 10,000. There's a card in here that I think has 5 crit also. Or, like, we're getting one that has 5 crit. Um, yeah, look at that. 8 crit. 80k, 8 crit, and 8,000 defense. 5 crit. They're just absurdly powerful monsters, but the drawback is that you need to find a 2 of. Um, but again, when the, when the deck expedites the process of getting there pretty good so this is the buddy they give you um demonic dragon release vanity husk destroyer this is like a weaker version of uh vile ranma's buddy um which is also called vanity husk destroyer that one's much better but uh with one you could buy a, a ps4 pro so um i'm not picking that up but i'm pretty sure it's getting reprinted so we'll worry about that later so what this guy does is again it's a thirty thousand power three crit and ten thousand defense monster um, no size. There's no size limit in Lost World. Uh, except with the size limit of your already, like, like pre-existing monsters. Um, <clears throat> this card in the field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So it's already pretty good. Uh, when this card attacks, destroy or return to hand a card in your opponent's field. So, any card. Um, that's, all, that's also pretty solid. And it's got double attack to boot, so... it's just it's costless too there's i don't i don't think any of these cards have like call costs either they're just like lost world is gonna be we're entering a really fun era of buddy fight and i am excited um everyone gets access to this which is gonna be great uh whistle fed will you gain all right someone's got to tell me if this is like a foreign language or if busher is making this up because these names are i don't know um, 80,000 power, 8 crit, and 8,000 defense. Uh, oh, they do have call cost. Cool. Pay one gauge to put the top card in your deck into its soul. And it has soul guard. 8 crit. I think you run this solely for that reason. Just because of kill potential. Um, then we got... Yeah. Two... Hanel Kant Doff. Are these, like... Are these German, or...? It solves everything with its horn. Uh, 50,000 power, 10,000 defense, and 5 crit. It also has penetrate. Uh, and no cost. <laughs> this, I think these are just hilarious. Um, Zorun Zorken. Okay, I'm loving the art, though. It's super edgy. Uh, <laughs> just reading the flavor text. Um, 20,000 power, 6 crit, 10k defense... Uh, it has move. <laughs> they're all vanilla, but they're just like... Uh, oh, look, one with two crit. How uncharacteristic. Only one K... No, 10K. Wow. 10K, 10K, two crit. Pay one gauge. When this card enters the field, nullify all abilities of a card in your opponent's field and destroy it. And it also has double attack. That's real fucking cool. Uh, do gain the scythe. <laughs> the scythe. <laughs> and here are your spells. Um, I don't know why I give you one of this. Dimension life stream. Oh, it actually like is an English word. Choose and use on the following two. You only cast this once per turn. You either gain ten life or your opponent's life becomes ten. Sure, because why not, right? <laughs> the deck already. It, it's. <laughs> the 
those skills are just it's so good um <clears throat> dimension revive uh I do like the layout of the spells. Call a monster from your drop zone by paying its call cost, which is easy because none of them have call costs. And for this turn, that monster gets two crits. It can only be used once per turn. Oh yeah, so just, you know, <laughs> I'll put my opponent's life to 10, and then I'll just call out the eight crit guy and fuck. And then with this, and I'll make it 10 crit, and then I'll just kill my opponent. Fun, right? Cool. Uh, two Dimension Mirror. Uh, whoa, give me that card. That guy looks awesome. You only cast this card during an attack an attack on your opponent's turn if you have no monsters on your center. Nullify the attack and deal damage to your opponent equal to the total critical of all attacking monsters. <laughs> what a good card. I'm gonna need to pick up play sets of some of these. God, look at Ron, uh, Yuga. He's just, he's getting destroyed. Dimension jamming. They only give you one of this. This is weird. Counter. Your opponent chooses and drops two hand cards. Four of. That's too good. Um, dimension. I can understand why some of these are one of Because you only have, Oh, yeah. I don't know if I specified, but the Lost World deck is a 30 card deck. You can't, like, run more of that. Um, like, it is stuck at 30 cards. Uh, so, ratios, you know, should be lower. Um, oh, this is the base. This is not the basic plus three plus three. This is a counter. Give a monster in battle. Choose a monster in battle. And for this battle, give it power plus 10,000. Plus 100,000. That can't be. Plus 100,000 power and 100,000 defense and it gains counterattack. Sure. <laughs> These are hilarious. Uh, Dimension Shadow Gate set. When you are attacked, your opponent may pay one life. Wait, your opponent may pay one life. If they do not, nullify the attack. Because this wasn't stupid enough as is, right? Um, and everyone has access to this, so it's like semi-fair. Uh, here's the item. Vile Demonic Cannon Lostless Macer. Lostless in a Lost World deck sounds really stupid. It's just a penetrate with 10k and 5 crit. Uh, and then you got your impact. Um, God, what cool art. That's a, uh, that's like the flag. That's, uh, it's Violrama's buddy. There's Violrama looking stupid as fuck with his hair. And his really weird, like, what even are those? Is that a collar? No, that's his collar. God, this is so, his, <sighs> you may only cast this card if your opponent's life is five or less. Deal five damage to your opponent. It's costless. Carnage Destroy Blaster. That sounds like something in Blaze Blue. Um, yeah, so this is the Lost World uh, deck. Um, this is definitely going to become like, like, you know, this is going to be used in a lot of decks. Like, I'm heavily considering writing that. I'm definitely going to be building this deck, like, more so. I want to build more Dragon World. Um, I want to build, like, Vile Ranma's deck. I think it's kind of a cool uh, idea. Um, I always like the idea of, like, um, a deck, like, having a, it's like having your trump card and then having cards that center around, like, reaching that trump card. Um, so, I definitely like the design of Lost World. Uh, I just don't, I don't know where it's gonna be because I don't, I don't like the idea of... I feel like in the future, we might just, all of our decks are just going to be like tailor-made to get out Lost World, and that's going to reduce them to just husks of like what a regular deck is. Um, kind of like what G did to grade 3s in Vanguard, how like grade 3s felt a little less meaningless other than the stride skill, and then you just had your like G units. That wasn't terrible though, it was a good time, it was just like G as a uh, mechanic was terrible, um, it was poorly designed, but... <clears throat> um, I think Lost World's cool, and I think it could be fun, like, just a really big slugfest, uh, and it's, you know, kind of just, who can get it faster? Um, we have yet to just have a card that's straight up, like, grab Lost World from your deck, and I hope we never get that, but, um, until then, we're just gonna have to wait and see, and we're just gonna have to enjoy the Lost World, you know, special deck, yeah, special deck that we have now, um, so... 
Uh, yeah, um, pick this up for yourself. I would highly recommend it, especially with like regionals, um, you know, happening right now with the championships happening because everyone's going to have Lost World and whether, you know, there's like a lot of support for it or not, just having your Lost deck available is going to be really helpful for you um, just because of how powerful the cards are. So uh, yeah, leave a like. Um, uh, I will probably be coming, it comes with a life counter too, which is neat, with Vile Ranma, and that's, uh, the buddy in this deck, but, uh, this is gonna, I'm for sure updating this, um, so, yeah, uh, this deck will become, like, a better Lost World deck, and, um, you'll probably see Lost World incorporated into some of my other future deck profiles, like, maybe all of them, depending on what happens, but, um, or I'll try and figure out, like, ways to structure the deck to accelerate Lost World, um, other than having, like, you know, a Dimension Dragon strict deck, uh, oh god, what am I saying? I'm exhausted. Um, alright, yeah, YouTube, thanks for watching the video. Sorry it was weird, um, my phone's having this little, like, focus problem, I think. Okay, well, it was, but, <clears throat> thanks. Um, yeah, so, this is Miles from Nexus Course signing off. I hope you guys have a great night. Love you all. Thanks for 10K.